So welcome back to Agilent University. My name is Lee Polite, and today we're going to be talking about inlet systems for gas chromatography. Now, before we jump into the inlet system, we got to talk a little bit about gas chromatography itself. So just to remind you of how we got here, GC is the world's most powerful analytical tool. It is the technique that most people will choose for chemical analysis, trying to figure out what is in something and how much is present. So the way GC works is it's a separation tool. We inject our sample into a column, and that column is the really the, the heart of the GC. It is where the separation occurs. So we separate molecules based on their relative affinity for the stationary phase. But before we get to that magical GC column, we have to get into the GC, and that's the purpose of the inlet. So the inlet system allows us to insert a sample in a very reproducible way in order to get our sample onto the column for separation. The inlet is usually heated in order to vaporize the sample or at least keep it in the vapor state. Now we have a bunch of different inlet systems that are available to us. And each one has its own strength and weakness. You need to choose the right one for your application. So the first one on our list is the split splitless inlet. This is the dominant inlet system in GC. It is the one that most of us will choose in order to separate our samples. It works great for samples uh, of a wide variety of applications. We also have what's called the purge packed inlet. The purge packed inlet is really a legacy system. It allows us to use packed columns. Now most of us have moved on to capillary columns, hopefully, but some of us are still in the packed column world, and if you're running a packed column, this is the inlet for you. The programmable cool on column inlet, or the peacock, is useful for compounds that are thermally labial, compounds that might break down at high temperature. If your sample might break down at high temperature, this is the ideal inlet for your application. Then we move on to the multi-mode inlet. This device allows us to inject a wide variety of samples because it can operate just about like any other inlet. It can do split, it can do splitless, it can do on column, it can do a wide variety of, of applications. The next on the list is the volatiles interface, and this is truly an interface and not so much an inlet. And the reason I say that is because it's really just a T that allows us to hook up our sample to the column. So this is only useful if your sample is already in the vapor state. So if your sample is a gas, in other words, if your sample is coming from a headspace auto sampler or purgent trap or thermal desorption or a gas sampling valve, this is the ideal approach because it has a very low volume and allows us to inject the sample directly onto the column. And then finally, we have the gas sampling valve itself. Gas sampling valve, once again, is for gas samples. So if you're looking at a sample that contains argon, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, this is the approach that you're going to take. So let's look at each one in a little more detail.